A few years ago, I was privileged to be part of a group that went out to Kerala in South India to look at some of the work that Christian Aid and its partners were doing alongside some of the poorest people in that country. We lived in villages with local families whose extraordinary generosity touched our hearts. And we met with three groups of women who'd been trained and supported in establishing projects that were transforming their communities. One group was working with local government to develop systems that would bring clean water into local communities. Another group was making dried milk for newborn babies. A third had formed a cooperative, growing rice in paddy fields, providing the women with a regular wage to support their families and communities. In each case, Christian Aid and its partners were working with and alongside local communities, offering education as well as resources to bring about transformation to local people. Today, the world is facing a pandemic that's affecting every one of us, changing the way we live and work, taking the lives of thousands of people, even in relatively wealthy countries such as the UK. But we know from past experience that it will hit the poorest of our world the hardest. Those countries where people live in crowded conditions with no real possibility of social distancing, no clean water or soap with which to wash their hands, and poor healthcare systems in place, are likely to see whole communities devastated unless there's significant support and resourcing. In our Gospel reading today, Jesus comes alongside and changes the lives of a few poor fishermen on the lake of Gennesaret. He transforms a situation in which Peter and his colleagues have worked all night long and caught nothing into such a harvest of fish that all who saw it were utterly amazed. Such an impact did that experience have on the fishermen that they left everything and followed Jesus. Jesus calls us, and all who follow him, to do the same. To be his hands and feet in the world. To come alongside the poor and those who see their hard labour bearing little fruit. To work with communities to bring about the changes they so desperately need in order to live well and safely. May that be our prayer this Christian Aid week, as we continue to work together to combat the effects of the coronavirus. And may we do what we can to support those working to effect change alongside the poorest of the poor. <laughs>